What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today we are in the fishing room again. Uh, we are going to do a small, uh, kind of not really a how-to video. It, it is a how-to, but not a how-to. Um, we're going to dive into the easiest and quickest way to start a fishing channel for YouTube. Alright guys, so I get a lot of questions all the time about, um, you know, how do I go about starting my YouTube channel? You know, I, I don't really like the way I look on camera. I don't like the way I sound on camera. I don't like... Uh, how difficult it is. I don't know how to start. I don't know where to start. So we're going to address all of that. We're going to mostly address the how, the what, and the when. You know, those are kind of the deals as to, you know, how we need to do that. So first one, number one, I don't have to show you anything. I don't have to talk about anything. When, that's easy guys. Whenever you want. Whenever you go to the water, the most important thing is just do it. Okay. That's what that that is the hardest part about all of this is just doing it, just starting, just to put the camera on and go. That's the hardest part about this is just going out and doing it. You know, it, it's just kind of how it is. Your first few videos, they're gonna be bad. <laughs> that's just how it is, unless you have a video background. And you know, and that's a lot of people ask me. They're like, well. Your videos are pretty good. You have very few videos that are even under a thousand views right now, and and you're a very new channel. Um, you know, my channel is. Um, I don't know when I'm going to release this video, but it'll. It, my my channel will still be under one year old. Um, guys, I I went to college for mass media video production. Um, I, I have a little bit of a. A, a head start on this than most people do. You know, this, this is what I went to school for. I won the 2010 Foothills Film Festival. Um, and when I say I won it, I won the whole thing. Um, I, I won best of show, best documentary, and um, best feature film. Um, you know, th this is what I've done for a very long time. Uh, it, it comes natural to me. Um, I laid it down for a little while, I stepped away from video and I focused on photography and that was, you know, my big deal for the last 10 years. And this year I decided I was coming back to video and um, here we are now. So I just, I want to give you all some, some uh, pointers and opinions from somebody who has the multimedia side, the aspect of it. You know, that, that is what I majored in in college, with mass media video production. So let's kind of dive into that. So. First things first, you do not need this massive, expensive, couple thousand dollar camera. Unnecessary, you do not need it. Do yourself a favor, go to Walmart, Amazon, Best Buy, wherever, get you a GoPro. This is my chesty GoPro. This is what I film with on a daily basis, um, anytime I go out and film, if you are on my chest, if you are seeing my first uh, my first person, this is what I'm filming with. This is a GoPro Hero Session. Uh, I wanna say this was like the four, one of the originals, I think, it's relatively old. Um, that's all you need. You need a GoPro Hero. You are going to need a SD card. Let me get this out for you. You will need a micro SD card. I dropped it. You'll need that micro SD card. You are going to need a, this isn't a necessity, but I recommend it, a chest mount, chesty. Um, you know, it just goes on easy as can be, guys. It's, it's, it's not difficult. Goes on just like this, buckles in the front. There you go. I really shouldn't have worn black for this video. But anyway, it just mounts on you just like that. And that's it. And you can start filming now. So, next complaint that I get a lot of the times, now my GoPro dies. It'll only record for 30 or 40 minutes. Yes, that is the biggest downfall to GoPro. I found a way around that. Go pick you up a battery pack, okay? Um, this one uh, I got from 
Verizon, I think it was, in a, a compact uh, phone deal for one of the iPhones I bought. This is a Mophie. Um, go get one of these. Your charging cable, it comes with every GoPro. You're going to have it. It comes with it. And let me show you how I do this. This is your chesty. And in the back, let me see if I can show you guys this. Focus in on that. On the back, you have this uh, stretchy material. So what I do is I take my charger pack and I stick it in behind my chesty. Like so. Alright, see there's my camera. This is my camera here. And there's my charger pack. And then the cable runs from your GoPro here. To your pack there. And now you have 20 to 25 hours of battery life. Okay, that's a bit, you can actually see my camera just kicked on that it's charging now. You have 20 hours of battery life in this thing. I don't know that that's 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, but uh, I get a lot of battery life out of this joker. So that's all you need to start the filming process. You know, you, you'll get you a chesty, a GoPro of any kind. Everybody knows I run the Oh gosh, what do I have? The GoPro Hero Session 4, the GoPro Hero Session 5, the GoPro 6, GoPro 7, and the new GoPro 8. I'm a camera junkie, I can't help it. Um, and then of course I'm filming this one with a uh, Canon 70D. Um, yeah, that's an expensive camera, you don't need all that crap. So, now that we have the camera, the, the camera gear, the knocked out, the how we're going to do it, let's talk about the editing process of it. You don't have to get fancy with it, guys. You do not have to do all this high-tech, fancy, yada, yada, yada. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I do not recommend that for the, the beginners, the starters. I, I just don't recommend that. You have massive pages. Um, Weston Smith. Um, I believe uh, Tactical Bassin. Um, there, there are other channels out there that uh, use iMovie. There's nothing wrong with that. I personally hate iMovie. I do not like iMovie. Um, I can't use it. I can't figure it out. I just don't like it. Um, I grew up using Adobe Premiere Pro. Ten years ago, before it was what it is now, um, I had to learn all of that. And it, it wasn't an easy thing to learn. Uh, it was very difficult to learn. And everything that I learned from that, all the shortcuts, everything I have carried over so I can use everything on the keyboard. That's why I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I recommend you all use iMovie. Now, this is why. iPhones. Your iPhone can download iMovie. iMovie will come on the phone. You can do all of your editing directly from your phone. Now, you are going to need a few things for this. You are going to need your SD card, which you already have. You've already filmed everything. You take your SD card out of your camera. You will now need an adapter for your phone. The adapter is going to plug in to the lightning port on the bottom of your phone. The SD card plugs into that. I'll, I'll link that down in the video description, guys. I'm going to link everything, all the gear, cameras, chesties, uh, everything I use to edit with, I'm going to link down there for you guys. So you can just go down there, click on the link, and it'll take you right to it. Um, the adapter is going to plug into the iPhone. The SD card then goes into the iPhone. And now you can import everything onto the iPhone, edit directly on the iPhone, get it done, export it, upload directly to YouTube right from your iPhone. It's that easy, guys. It really is that simple. Now, the next big thing that everybody asks me is, um, what if my videos are bad? What do I do? Well, guys, your videos are going to be bad. Okay, that, that's just how it is. Uh, you know, it, it's going to take you time to be able to go through there and really learn how to edit, how to shoot, what to do. But the biggest, the biggest thing of all of it that everybody's going to find difficult is talking to the camera. This took me a very long time to be able to do. As long as this was on my chest, 
I have no problem with that. I have no problem talking like this and doing all this, but as soon as you get in my face, it's weird. I, 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 just, I get weirded out for a lot of problems. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed in some of my other videos, I'm doing this number. Watch my eyes. This is where I'm supposed to be talking, but I'm actually talking over here. Now, a lot of people ask me why. Because the screen is over here. The lens is here. So I actually catch myself talking to the screen when I need to be talking to you all in the lens. So that's another big thing you have to watch for. So the number one thing that I'm going to leave with you guys, I, I want you all, this is, if you take nothing away from this, nothing at all except for one thing, I want you to take this away from this video. Just start doing it. I was going to say just do it, but I'm not going to take Nike's ad. <laughs> just start filming, guys. There is no reason not to be doing this. There is no reason not to put on that chest mount with your battery pack. It Just leave it there. It's comfortable. It's not going to bother you any. You might sweat a little. You might have a little bit of a sweat stain on your shirt, but who cares? You're going to be out there sweating anyway. It's not going to be in the video. Take it with you every time you go to the water. Always. If you have a boat, you don't want it on your chest, get a YOLO tech. Down in the description, I'm going to leave you a link to a YOLO tech. It is a 53 inch uh, expandable power source. It's essentially having your own cameraman on your boat. It is going to plug into your uh, anchor light. You will then be able to take your camera, mount it to the tripod mount that comes with it on the YOLO tech. And then you will take your cable and your cable plugs directly into your YOLO tech mount. It gets power continuously. You can film for days on that. As long as your boat has got power, it is still filming. You have no problems with that, guys. They also make one for you kayak anglers. If you kayak anglers want to get into it as well, they make power sources for it. YOLO tech even makes a uh, big orange box. It's, it's essentially... Uh, it's essentially this on steroids. I, I can't even remember how many hours it's good for. I want to say it's triple digit hours. I mean, it's a stupid number of hours. This one, you know, 20 hours. That one, I want to say is over 100. It's crazy how much power it's got in it, guys. Guys, I'm going to link everything down in the description below for you all. Anything you need to start your YouTube channel, it's going to be down there for you. If you all have any questions, please, Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Email me, michaelknappfishing at gmail.com. Instagram, michaelknappfishing. Uh, Facebook, michaelknappfishing. Twitter, knappfishing. Reach out to me, guys. Any questions y'all have whatsoever, please reach out to me. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment down there. Let me know what you guys are thinking about all these videos. And be on the lookout for those Secret Tackle Warehouse gift cards in any one of these videos. It could be anywhere, guys. Good luck. Take care, y'all.